ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్ర ప్రజలందరికీ గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవ శుభాకాంక్షలు ఈరోజు భారతీయులు అందరూ అరవై ఎనిమిదవ గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవాన్ని జాతీయ పండుగగా జరుపుకుంటున్నారు ఈ శుభ సమయాన మన స్వాతంత్ర్యం కోసం పోరాడిన ఎందరో మహనీయులు త్యాగమూర్తులను రాజ్యాంగం నిర్మాతలను స్మరించుకుండాం మన విధి వారి త్యాగాల ఫలితంగానే నేడు మనం ఈ వేడుకలను ఘనంగా జరుపుకుంటున్నాం వారి ఆశాయల మేరకు రాష్ట్ర సమగ్ర అభివృద్ధికి నా ప్రభుత్వం అనేక కార్యక్రమాలు చేపతుండి నా ప్రభుత్వం చేపట్టిన అనేక సంక్షేమ అభివృద్ధి కార్యక్రమాల్లో ప్రధాన అంశాలు ఒకసారి మననం చేసుకుందాం అట్ ది ఔట్సెట్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కంగ్రాచులేట్ ది పరేడ్ కమాండర్ అండ్ ఆల్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పరేడ్ ఫర్ ఎ ఫ్యాబ్లెస్ డిస్ప్లే ఆఫ్ డ్రిల్ ఐ వుడ్ ఆల్సో లైక్ టు కంగ్రాచులేట్ ఆల్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ విచ్ హర్ డిస్ప్లేడ్ దేర్ అచీవ్మెంట్స్ అండ్ దేర్ గోల్స్ through the floats which passed by us only recently i would like to congratulate them also for the wonderful display after the state reorganization this is the third occasion i am addressing the people of this great state on the republic day during this last two and a half years we have achieved remarkable progress on all fronts undaunted by the hurdles that ensued in the wake of bifurcation andhra pradesh is making rapid strides on the path of development thanks to the visionary leadership undaunted by the numerous challenges post bifurcation my government converted every crisis into an opportunity thanks to an astute leadership the results are visible and these include completion of pattisima in a definite time frame moving ahead with polavaram project transformation of the 22 million units of power deficit to a surplus status undertaking initiative innovative drought proofing measures especially in rayal seema in our endeavor to establish a happy healthy and globally competitive society and in sync with our vision to become one among the best three states in the country by 2022 the best state by 2029 and the best investment destination in the world by 2050 we are working out resilient strategies on a sustained basis the state government is relentlessly making efforts put or put put on track the development agenda at a time when the world is moving ahead from the 8 millennium development goals paradigm to the 17 sustainable development goals i believe it's time we move in sync with them for a total transformation towards prosperity with happiness of our society while the state reorganization had put tremendous stress on the financial and other resources my government's commitment to search forward with specific growth strategies yielding a fruitful result double digit growth inclusive growth continues relentlessly growth story of andhra pradesh reveals encouraging trends due to the untiring efforts and innovative policies my government could successfully post a healthy growth rate of 12.23% during the first half of the financial year 2016-17 andhra pradesh as a predominantly agrarian state where about 60% of the population eke out their livelihood in the primary sector needs special focus on agriculture the primary sector mission set up the state is working closely with the departments in delivering results especially in productive improvement and value addition as a result of unstinted efforts agriculture and allied sectors have shown a phenomenal growth of 24.44 percent during the first half april september 2016 of the current financial year fisheries with 42.57 percent livestock with 14.91% and horticulture with 18.33% have been providing great support to the agriculture sector 
As service sector is one of the major contributors to growth, my government is contemplating to focus on the key subsectors pertinent to the services sector and give it a big push. We are confident that our state will sustain this growth for the financial year 2016-17 and beyond, as we have recognized that maintaining impressive growth, economic growth, as an imperative for sustained development leading to a happy society. Innovations and technology are my government's initiatives for accelerated socio-economic development. Our effort on adoption of participatory and innovative digital financial inclusion, real-time governance, and a comprehensive monitoring framework of sustainable development goals linked to the themes of Kutumba Vikasam and Samaja Vikasam programs will go a long way in accomplishing the vision targets and in setting global benchmarks for realizing our objective of making Andhra Pradesh a happy, healthy, prosperous, inclusive and globally competitive society. Recently, the Union Government has taken a bold decision to control black money and eliminate corruption. With a view to ameliorate the temporary hardships of people following the demonetization of the high denomination currency notes, my government has come up with innovative approaches to encourage and promote adoption of digital currency, payment methods and incentivization mechanism. We have launched a special campaign in the entire state for enhancing digital financial literacy and for encouraging cashless transactions. A large section of population, including students, SHG women, MNREGS job card holders, pensioners and FP shop owners have been sensitized to spread digital financial literacy. To make the people of the state partners in the development process and to bring the administration to that doorstep, my government has launched the fourth round of Janmabhumi Mahavuru program during this month across all the gram panchayats and, and municipal wards with 15 themes of Kutumba Vikasam and 10 themes of Samaja Vikasam as the key focus areas. We therefore have an enlarged vision to make Andhra Pradesh poverty-free, state ensuring growth that is inclusive. It is a matter of pride to announce that the perception surveys undertaken during the programs have been highly encouraging and meeting our norms of achieving about 80% people's satisfaction on governance. The long-cherished dreams of interlinking of major rivers Godavari and Krishna became a reality with the inauguration of the Patisima lift irrigation scheme in a record time of one year and water is released through all the pumps and motors in March 2016. During the year 2015-16, about 8 TMC of water is diverted through River Krishna saving karif crops in 8 lakh acres with conjunctive use of groundwater which yielded crop estimated at rupees 2,500 crore. During this year, about 56 TMC of water has diverted, to, diverted and karif crop in about 10.65 lakh acres in Krishna Delta could be said. The Union Government, in tune with its commitment to fully support completion of Polavaram as a national project, released an amount of 1,981 crore through NABAD to the Polavaram Project Authority. We have started concrete works at the Polavaram Dam site. My government invited farmers from all the 13 districts as part of the celebration, making it a memorable event. My government is focusing on completion of Polavaram project by 2019. My government is consciously working out completion of other priority projects within a definite time frame. <coughs> Vamshadara project is expected to be completed by June 2018 and the interlink of Swarnamukhi Vamshadara rivers would be taken up and completed at the earliest. We are committed to, to set up a smart water grid through interlinking of rivers. <coughs> My government is committed to provide access to quality drinking water by conservation and sustainable management of its water resources. Efficiency uh, enhancement, conserving groundwater resources and increasing irrigation potential are the chief goals of this sector. We also aim to drought-proof the state and provide safe drinking water to all the people. My government is implementing strategies for effective water resource management, such as improving groundwater and surface water levels, Niru Pragati, improving irrigation potential for major, medium and minor projects, Panta Sanjeevini, Panta Raksha and bore wells. Large-scale implementation of the farm pond, Panta Sanjeevini concept has become a boon for the farmers of the rain-fed districts of Andhra Pradesh. The farm ponds help in storing rainwater and gradually raise the groundwater level in surrounding areas, making farmers happy. 
Under the scheme, we are targeting to dig over 5 lakh farm ponds in the state during this year, and the progress is encouraging. I am glad to inform that my government has secured the seventh position in the Agriculture, Marketing and Farm Friendly Reforms Index launched by the Niti Aayog. Of the 13 best practices from the states across the nation pertaining to agriculture and allied sectors selected by the Niti Aayog for 2016, two are from our state. My government has put in maximum efforts for achieving higher growth in the sector despite deficit rainfall. As a strategic invention, the intervention, and as it proved to be a successful experiment in the Karif season this year, we are planning to deploy rain guns during Rabi season and the ensuing Karif as an yield protection measure by placing the services based on the soil moisture assessment. We are also planning to give adequate wettings to the groundnut crop in Rayal Sima districts to protect the yields. Horticulture sector is an integral element for food and nutritional security in the state. Andhra Pradesh ranks first in the production of oil palm, papaya, citrus and chilies, second in the production of mango and tomato in the country. 6.93 lakh hectares of area has been covered under the micro-irrigation in the state, benefiting 6.25 lakh farmers. To achieve the concept of more crop per drop, micro-irrigation is being encouraged by the state government. My government targets to cover 1 million farmers in the next three years and the farmer producer organizations for agriculture and allied sectors to establish forward and backward linkages and to promote the products of Andhra Pradesh to global standards. Livestock sector has been showing enormous potential for growth. We focus on improvement in production of milk, meat and egg under the livestock sector so as to earn a minimum of rupees 10,000 per month to every household concerned. My government is planning to prepare an action plan to supply feed and fodder, including silage, concentrate feed and saturation mode to the farmers at 50% subsidy throughout the state. Growth in fisheries sector has been a revelation in the recent past. My government is preparing an action plan to exploit the existing resources to fulfill to full extent and adopt best practices to achieve a growth rate of 50% in the fisheries sector. We are also working out to provide the insurance and shrimp and trying up Narega funds to dig fish ponds for farm ponds to facilitate farmers to take up fish culture. In the years to come, Andhra Pradesh state will become the aqua hub in the world. My government has launched the Manam Manam program as a people's movement and preparing action plan for covering 50% of land across the state by greenery by the year 2029 under the Mission Harita Andhra Pradesh campaign. <coughs> the entire process will be monitored with geo-tagging. Given urban forestry, huge fillet, sustained efforts are being done. This is a defining moment as no government in the country has ever embarked on loan redemption of such magnitude regardless of the economics of this socially relevant measure under extremely difficult circumstances. My government is adopting state-of-the-art models to follow the track of a cyclone before landfall and simulate its impact on coastal areas for possible wind change and storm surge inundation. With a concern to lend a helping hand to the pensioners, we have enhanced welfare pensions by five-fold. Under the NTR Barossa scheme, the monthly pension to destitute women and aged has been raised from a meager 200 rupees to 1,000 rupees. The differently abled are also happy that their monthly pension has been raised to 1,500. In addition to the existing 43 lakh pensioners, pensions, 3.5 lakh pensions have been distributed during the recent Janmabhumi program. My government has established a robust citizen-centric and integrated institutional mechanism to deliver services through all government programs, schemes and activities to eradicate poverty and enhance empowerment. Under the Chandranna Bhima scheme, 52.47 lakh beneficiaries have been covered in the first half year and we are targeting to saturate the coverage of beneficiaries in the current year. We intend to cover missing marine fishermen under this insurance scheme. My government gearing up to supply ration under public distribution system to all eligible who have been applied for ration cards from January 2017 onwards. With a view to ensure celebration in every household, commodities have been provided through public distribution system under the Christmas Kanuka Kanuka, Sankranti Kanuka and Ramzan Tofa. My government is taking necessary steps to declare AP a cent per cent LPG connection state that is kerosene free state by June 2017. Steps will also be taken for supply of 5 kilo cylinder in hilly and tribal areas where transport facilities are limited. My government is planning, contemplating to bring all the welfare departments under one platform for coordination and assessment of effectiveness and efficiency in delivery. 
we are planning to conduct awareness program on availing NTR Vidyo Unnati, Udyo Unnati scheme. Reflecting our commitment for development of the SCs and STs in the state, my government has taken adequate care in ensuring implementation of SCST sub plans in letter and spirit. Under the Unnati program, Rs. 210 crore has been provided as a loan to 58,000 SCST and other poor families for livelihood and asset creation during the year. My government has specific concern for welfare of backward classes. In respect of minorities also, several programs are being implemented with a view to make growth inclusive. About 3.26 lakh ST students, 4.6 lakh SC students, 2.6 lakh minority students are getting benefited under the scholarship schemes. Interests of Kapus and Brahmin communities are also being protected through appropriate measures. My government is keen to achieve cent person literacy by 2019 and is making all out efforts to achieve this landmark. We will soon embark on conducting online exchange courses through AP e-Knowledge Exchange, which will be a forum for discussion by students, schools and researchers. About one lakh teachers have already been partnered in this endeavor. Technical education is reaching new heights in the state, and with the advent of new premier institutions in engineering, medicine, management and other disciplines, I am sure my government will make Andhra Pradesh a hub of technical education. <coughs> Skill development is being given adequate focus. My government is continuously attempting innovative steps for improvement of maternal and child health care to meet the sustainable development goals. Noteworthy progress has been achieved in the current financial year. Over 2 lakh mothers have made use of Tali Bidda Express, 1.3 lakh lakh patients covered on the NTR Vaidya Seva, 10% achieved in children breastfed exclusively for 6 months, 99% pregnant women were provided supplementary nutrition regularly, and 72.34% achievement in child malnutrition immunization, 0 to 5 years, and several other health-related issues have been addressed. Necessary steps are being taken for completion of construction of incomplete Anganwadi buildings and for filling up of vacancies of Anganwadi workers and helpers. We are adopting a multi-pronged strategy to convert our vision into reality. Taking the state to new heights will require welfare measures, sustainable harnessing of natural resources, and development of infrastructure and of human resources. To meet the requirements of the growing economy, my government has established a corporation exclusively for skill development. Our government is working closely with reputed organizations to devise practical and effective skill development strategies. My government has provided Rs 4,569 crore through brand linkage and Rs 464 crore to about 2.5 lakh SHA women towards creation of livelihoods. We are firming up the strategy for an assured monthly income of Rs 10,000 to every SPG household, SHG household. Providing employment to youth stands top on the priority list. While encouraging employment in the private sector, my government is issuing notification for vacancies in various departments. Sports persons are getting encouragement and adequate infrastructure support to prove the talent in international competitions. My greetings to P.V. Sindhu, who has excelled in the Olympics and brought silver medal to the country. Protecting the cultural heritage and respecting the age-old sentiments of people, my government has organized Krishna Pushkarams in a highly festive environment. <coughs> a total of 1.62 crore pilgrims visited various guards in the state during the event. The biggest achievement of this Krishna Pushkaram is that our administration was able to organize the event smoothly and effectively with the help of centralized monitoring system, Command Communication Center at Vijayawada. A magnificent riverfront structure was set up by my government at the Pavitra Sangamam with recreational and tourism facilities in the vicinity. In an effort to encourage native arts and culture and as part of the 5th International Kuchipudi Dance Convention, we have organized classical dance of Andhra Pradesh Kuchipudi, which found a place in the Guinness Book of Records. Yet again, when a record of 6,117 dancers coming together from all across the world to present a show of dance form. My government enjoys the pride of having organized the 104th Indian Science Congress in Tirupati with science and technology for national development as the focal theme. World-renowned scientists, including Nobel laureates, have participated in the conclave, which has marked a great leap in the history of Indian science. My government has pledged to give a reward <coughs> of rupees 100 crore to the noble winner from this state. I hope this decision will motivate our scientists to with renewed vigor. Coinciding with the Indian Science Conference, building on the dream of the former president and scientist late APJ Abdul Kalam, we are starting an international science museum, Brahmanand, which will soon dot the line of the temple city of Tirupati. The facility would enable a brief stay of students for conducting experiments and research. With a view to create a people hub as a reliable single source of data base, 
my government has undertaken praja sadhikara survey to to capture the required socio economic data directly in digital form with online validations 1.37 crore households and 4.32 crore family members have been covered under the survey impressed by the successful implementation of the praja sadhikara survey in andhra pradesh haryana has also proposed to emulate it under the e pragati chapter of the project real time data could be collected with the effective use of technology in programs like electrification cleanliness and controlling pollution in our endeavor to build a world class capital city for the new andhra pradesh at amravati my government is making all out efforts we have shifted our complete administration to the new capital i am sure the new capital will be an ideal role model in the entire country and perhaps the world master plan of the new capital has been notified with more than 90% of the land in possession the infrastructure plan is completed and tendering work for major roads and underground cabling for ehc lines is in progress my government has appointed the master architect for the government complex and land is allocated for various educational and medical institutions like vit srm amrita indo uk health institute dr b r shetty medical city and various central and state government organizations <coughs> My government is committed to provide shelter to the poor under the NTR rural housing scheme 49000 houses have been grounded in urban houses are planned under affordable housing program and pradhan mantri awas yojana my government is keen to consider building economic cities and proposals in respect of amravati and a few other cities are being considered my government can proudly announce a number of success stories in the power sector from the past status of a power deficit state in june 2014 we have not only become a power supply state but also able to provide power to all domestic consumers on 24 by 7 basis this year we have energized more than 52000 agricultural pump sets and energization of the pending agricultural bore wells is a priority our performance on the additional non conventional capacity generation both solar and wind is very encouraging my government has successfully brought down the tnd loss to a single digit my government has put in several technological interfaces such as online feeder monitoring systems geo tagging of agriculture bore wells smart metering installation utilization of kaizala application for all employees and hd consumers we are also moving towards cashless transactions for discoms mori village in east godavari district stands as an example in the country it is gone fully digital with all households enjoying wifi internet connectivity cable tv while making all transactions cashless the fiber grid connectivity is taking complete shape all the issues that may arise during the execution of fiber cable connections to offices households schools are being sorted out in recognition of our outstanding efforts and achievements in various sectors my government has received national and international level awards the state received five awards in energy sector one award in each in irrigation sector for better water management industry sector in the ease of doing business revenue for me kosam portal a public grievance redressal forum and one award to the finance department the vijayawada tirupati and visakhapatnam airports have witnessed highest growth in the country in terms of passenger traffic the works of the new airports at bogapuram oravakallu dagadatti nagarjuna sagar donakonda and expansion works at vijayawada rajamandri are progressing my government has initiated the land pooling and land acquisition works of machilipatnam and bhavanapadu ports and on the inland waterways front we are expediting the land acquisition for the identified land through delineation in coastal districts of east godavari west godavari and krishna we are expediting the work relating to identification of the land needed for the priority section of the beach corridor project at kakinada in east godavari district to bogapuram in vijayanagaram district north coastal andhra pradesh and rayal seema regions are expected to witness a major boost in the food processing sector as 8 mega food parks are being planned by private firms in the state while five of the food parks are expected to come up <coughs> in the four coastal districts of shrikakulam vijayanagaram visakhapatnam and east godavari three of them are being planned in the rayal seema districts of chittur karnool and anantapuram andhra pradesh has become a global leader in the ease of doing business andhra pradesh has been ranked number 1 in the ease of doing business 2016 as per the rankings given by the world bank my government is signing mous with private investors for an estimated 5980 crores in the state at the same time at least two ultra mega food parks are also expected to shake take shape in the next couple of years we are planning to complete all the 102 projects 
which are in various stages of completion as soon as possible. Proposals of 80 industries worth Rs 15,000 crore are being finalized and revival of six industries is being examined. It is a matter of pride that my government has got an opportunity to host the Partnership Summit 2017 and the second Sunrise AP Investment Meet in succession at Visakhapatnam on the 27th and 28th of January 2017. Several ministers of trade from various countries and key industry representatives have already confirmed their participation. My government is moving fast on setting up a coastal economic and employment zone at Krishna Patnam and graded incentives are being proposed for industry units based on employment generated in the zone. With an intent to boost indigenization in upstream oil and gas sector, my government is keen to set up a petroleum economic zone in the state. My government is interested to step up MSME credit performance needs during the year. Efforts are being made to extend full support to this sector. As part of our commitment to promote tourism, tourist sectors have been proposed covering the pilgrim centers and nature's attractions in districts. My government is planning to organize weekend cultural programs every fortnight in each district, sustaining the momentum need of the hour. Mana Rajyanga Nirmathalu Ashinchana Abhivriddhi Palalu Andariki Samanga Andela Andela Krishichaddam Indukosam Andaram Chai Chai Kalipi Paraspara Sahakaranto Samishtanga Krishichaddam E Rashtram Midi Nadi Anedi Kadu E Rashtram Manadi Ani Adheoka Lakshamga Petkoni Mana Mundukupovali Swarna Andhra Pradesh Sadhanam Kosam Anaksharam Kshamiddam, E. Lakshya Sadhanalo, Yuvataram, Munduku Ravalani, Utsahanga, Swachanga, Prabhutva Abhivriddhi Karikamalo, Palagoni, Kurutu, Andaru, Khalisi, E. Rashtamni, Oka, Kopa Rashtam Gachalani, and Korkuntananu, Moro Sari, Andariki, Moro Maru, Shubavi Vendanado. Andhra Pradesh Rashtra Pajalandariki, Ganatantra Dinotsa, Shubak Kanchalu, Abinandalalu, Yavatu Desha Pajalu, E. Rosina, గణతంత్ర దినోత్సవాని పండుగగా జరుపుకుంటున్నారు ఈ శుభ సమయంలో మన దేశ స్వాతంత్రం కోసం పోరాడిన ఎందరో అమర వీరలను త్యాగమూర్తలను స్మరించుకుందాం